everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nikki with Montana Crochet Creations. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this really pretty crochet dishcloth. It's super simple to make. It's made with cotton yarn and it works up really fast. So what you're going to need is a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook right here. You're also going to need a yarn needle because you'll have a yarn tail at the end to weave in. You'll need a pair of scissors for clipping that yarn when you're all done. And then you'll also need a skein of some cotton yarn. This is just some leftover cotton yarn that I had on hand. It's the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, the, the cotton version. And um, I love the little colors of it, the variegated. So I think I'm gonna work up a few of these dishcloths uh, for my kitchen. So go ahead and grab all of the supplies that you're going to need and we'll get started on this tutorial. All right, let's get started on this crochet dishcloth. So we're gonna start out here by creating our slip stitch. And then we are going to chain 35. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They actually don't like the length of this right here. So let's go ahead and add five more for a total of 40. So there's 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I feel like just that little bit extra right there is gonna make it the right size. All right, so what we're going to do next is we are going to go into the sixth chain from the hook. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we're going into the sixth chain. That's going to count as our double crochet and chain one. So we're insert our hook and we're going to double crochet. So I yarned over and drew up a loop. So now I'm going to yarn over and pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through two more loops. And now I'm going to just chain one. The very next thing that we're going to do is we are going to skip this next chain right here. And we're gonna go into the next one and we're going to double crochet and chain one. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down to the end. We're gonna skip this next stitch and we are going to double crochet. So yarning over, inserting our hook into that chain, drawing up a loop, yarning over and pulling through two loops and then going through two loops again. And then we're going to chain one. And so now we're gonna skip and then double crochet plus chain one in the next stitch. So finish doing that until you get all the way to the end. At the very end, I will meet you back here and then we'll proceed with row two. All right, so I'm at the end of row one and you should have ended with just a double crochet. If you did not end with a double crochet, then that means that your chain count was off. So you might have to tear it out and go back again. So for row two, we're going to chain four, two, three, four. We're going to turn our work. And then what we're going to do next, so this counts as our double crochet plus our chain one. And then we're gonna come over here and double crochet into this um, double crochet from the previous round. Here we go, we're going to double crochet, if I can get that through. There we are, and then we're going to chain one again. And so now we're just going to repeat that. So we're going to place a double crochet in the top of every single one of these double crochets across here, and then do your chain one, and then we are going to repeat this pattern for a total of 16 rows. So as you can see, this is a really, really simple crochet dishcloth that we're creating here. It works up extremely fast, so it'd be perfect for like a last minute housewarming gift or even just like a last minute gift for somebody, period, whether it's a birthday or something like that. Um, and you really only need like small amounts of scrap cotton yarn to do this. So go ahead and keep working this until you are done with row 16 and I'll meet you back here and we'll start on the border and then creating the loop for this crochet dishcloth. 
All right, so I'm done with row 16 of my crochet dishcloth. And you can see that, you know, it's a decent dishcloth size and it worked up really quickly. I mean, I bet I probably worked this up in eh, 20 minutes maybe. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create our border that goes along the top and the edges right here. So I'm gonna zoom back in here and we're gonna get started. So we're going to chain one and then we're going to go back into this chain one space and we're going to place a single crochet. There we are. And then we're gonna go back in and place one more single crochet. So that basically right there counts as three single crochet. So now we're going to come along over here and we're going to single crochet in our, basically our chains along the edge because there's not really any stitches right here, but we, um, want to make sure that we're creating an even number of stitches that goes all the way along. So you can see right here, this double crochet has a stitch there and it has a stitch here. So we're gonna place a single crochet in each of those. And then we're going to do that all the way until we get to the corner. And once we come to the corner, then we're gonna place three more single crochet in that corner stitch. So, Go ahead and work down this side right here and I'll meet you back in a few minutes when we get uh, to that next corner stitch and then we will get those single crochets worked in that and then work along the other edge. All right, I came to the corner and I placed my three single crochet. So now I'm just going to continue along this edge right here and I'm going to be placing a single crochet in the two stitches of that double and then also, you'll grab like the basically the top of the double crochet that's running this way right here. So go ahead and keep doing that. Um, you're just going to repeat the same process for this side over here. So when you get to the corner right here, you're going to place two single crochet all the way or three single crochet in that corner space. And then you're going to single crochet all the way down and then the same in this corner and then we'll work over here. Once we come to right here, I want you guys to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet, but do not fasten off because we're going to create the loop for this um, dishcloth. So I'll meet you back here in a few minutes when we get to that point. All right, I made it all the way around and then I slip stitched to the top of that very first single crochet right here. And I actually think I want to add one more row a single crochet all the way around here. I think it'll finish it off a little bit better. Um, if you don't want to do that, you're more than welcome to leave it just like this, but I think I'm going to add one more row. So I'm going to do that. And then whenever I get finished with that, I'll meet you back and we'll create the little hanging loop for this crochet dishcloth. All right, so I finished that second round and I actually look, like the way that looks. It actually finished it off quite nicely. So now we're, what we're going to do is create our little loop that's going to attach right here. So I'm going to chain 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, maybe. So 11 and we have 12. And then, all right, so I have my chain 12. So what we're going to do next is we're just gonna come back into this space right here where we started our chain and we are just going to slip stitch, just like that. And then we're going to fasten off and then weave in our yarn tails. So grab some scissors and then just clip that yarn. And then now we're going to just weave in our yarn tail. So um, as you can see, now we've got this nice little hook, this little loop that's gonna hold our dishcloth whenever it's drying. So grab your yarn needle and weave in your yarn tail and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes. All right, I wove in my yarn tail and that is it. We just created this really pretty crochet dishcloth. Um, like I said, it's a super quick little project for anyone that's moving into a new home or if you just wanna make some new dishcloths for your kitchen. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that you like this video. Don't forget to comment and also ring that notification bell. 
as I post tutorials right here weekly, and you don't want to miss out on any of those. I've got some really fun ones coming up this summer. And that's it. I love you guys all so very much, and I will see you in my next video.